What's going on YouTube? This is Mag Dog TV. We coming back with another one. So the Arizona Wildcats and defensive coordinator Dewan Aquina just spoke out about the Colorado Buffaloes along with preparation and stopping Travis Hunter along with the offensive quarterback Shadour Sanders. We're going to talk about all that in this video, so let's get to it. <laughs> So the last time these two football teams played last year was within the Pac-12. Now both teams have exchanged into the Big 12. The score of the last year's games was 34 to 31. So it was a very close game despite Arizona being 3-3 three and three right now overall, 1-2 and two in the Big 12. Their defensive coordinator spoke out about Travis Hunter along with the Colorado players, along with some of their players. I'm going to play these video clips and let you guys see it, and then I'm give you guys my thoughts after. Shout out to the Arizona Wildcats. A question for both of you guys. What do you remember about that game last year in Boulder? Oh, Boulder? Um, we ran a lot of dog last year, so I saw a lot of action uh, that game. They they aired it out. It was a it was a fun game to be a part of. Yeah, I mean, I didn't necessarily play that play in that game last year, but just watching from the sideline, they definitely um, aired it out. You know, definitely a, a more of a passing team. You know, just yeah. The challenge of facing that kind of offense. Oh yeah, no, they have they have great dudes on the offense. Uh, they got weapons on the outside, the inside. Uh, quarterback we know possible first round pick definitely is a first round pick so they got weapons they could they could air it out they could do a lot of things so we just got to go out there mentally focus communicate and i think it'll be a good game David, just to follow on that obviously Shadir has one of the most high profile you know players in college football this year just what's exciting about facing a player like that for both of you and, and, and how would you describe you know what you saw from him last year yeah, no, he's he's super explosive, has a great arm, great ability to scramble. And uh, I honestly love the games like this. I love the more viewers, more people watching. Uh, just going against better people just brings the best out of us, I feel like. The better we go against, the better we play. So, so one of the, the matchups that we're going to see this week is, is Travis Hunter and T-Mac. As a defensive back, what's it like going up against T-Mac? Oh, no, it's, it's crazy. Like I said, the high caliber players, you love to go against them because it just ele elevates your game as well. So I feel like that will be a really good matchup to see again. Some very good stuff right there coming from the football players. They have a lot of respect for the Colorado Buffaloes. And once again, as I said before, these guys played against these guys last year. I think this is a very winnable game in regards to the Colorado Buffs versus this football team. Kansas State beat this football team 41-7, to 41-9 to if I'm not mistaken. They beat them pretty good. I have the score on the screen so you guys can see it. And not only that, but... Colorado should have beat Kansas State. So if Kansas State ran over Arizona, Colorado should do the same, especially if they come ready to play a full 60 minutes. Now I'm going to give you guys a brief summary of what the defensive coordinator for Arizona said as far as Colorado along with stopping Travis Hunter. Then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts after. Justin, uh, how do you game plan against a guy like Travis Hunter? And what stands out to you when you look at his tape? Yeah, he's a good player. Um... So, you know, you, you got to kind of find ways to get two on. Uh, you know, what we used to do was say, you know, like guys, like when I had Chris Matt, you talk about a natural, I mean, 22 interceptions in three years. That's phenomenal for a corner. That's just different. But sometimes you may try to match him with your best player. You know, maybe sometimes you want to bracket to him, you know, but you want to find ways to not let their best player beat you. But, you know, when you start getting into that now, you're taking somebody out of the run game, too. You know, when you start, one guy dem demands two. That's why I've always taught that, that football is a game of mathematics. A real hidden value that nobody really talks about is that nose guard that is so strong that demands the center and the guard. So now once one player demands two, that's what I call a twofer. When we used to have a grading system, that was worth four points, you know, much like a pass breakup was worth the same. So you're trying to, but you've got to give him the respect that he deserves. He's a good player. The quarterback's going to look for him, rightfully so. And they have other weapons. That's what really helps him, too. You know, they got other weapons that can go also. And the quarterback is, you know, he's, a, he's an outstanding player. Plus his legs can force you to at times cover him twice, which makes it a little more exciting for you.
once again as i said before shout out to arizona wildcats channel for allowing me to share that video clip with you guys along with some of the players giving you guys just a little insight of how they feel in regards to this football game i think it's going to be electric you heard the defensive coordinator talking about the challenges of putting his best defensive back on travis hunter to kind of at least slow him down a little bit but when you do that he said it takes away a little bit from the run game shaking my head a little bit as he stated that because i was saying to myself colorado needs to stick to the run game because if they don't he don't have to worry about that any bit when you run for a negative 29 yards the way we did against kansas state that was absolutely horrible so i know he probably know that and if he don't then that's a good thing because we definitely need to stick to the run you guys heard our offensive coordinator pat Shermer speaking about that in the meeting on yesterday letting coach prime as well as everybody else in that meeting know that we need to run the damn ball we need to stick to the run having a negative 29 rushing yards game it's horrible. It's the worst ever, in my opinion. Not only that, but actually in history for the Colorado Buffaloes. So we have to stick to the run. We have to be able to disguise the defense, rotate Shiloh Sanders as well as everybody else. All 11 get to the football, something that Coach Prime been preaching all week. So we will see what these guys do. As I said before, it is a winnable game. Arizona is 3-3, three and three, BYU dominating them. Uh, Kansas State was able to dominate them, so there's no reason why I don't feel like we can't do the same, especially when we play a full 60 minutes along with Coach very well in this football game. Drop in the comments and let me know how you guys feel. What are your thoughts? What are your takes as far as this football game? This game will be this Saturday, and it is an earlier game than usual. And if you guys like the video, definitely like, subscribe to the channel. Peace.